other than that, probably not much. But I, I have to say that my favorite part of being a senior is uh, going off campus for lunches with my closest buddies. Hey, how you doing there? We are uh, on a mission off campus. <laughs> One more question. Sure. Um, do y'all have uh, lots of mayonnaise? Because I love mayonnaise. <laughs> you know how to off-campus lunch? Yeah, it's one of our senior privileges. Yep. We finally uh, got a senior privilege. It's very nice. Sitting out here in the parking lot, bonding, eating Chick-fil-A. I'm really gonna miss this one day. Control caught you. <laughs> hey. Hey. It told us we can go eat. This is like a senior one- Senior treat. I don't understand. We have to pay for it though, but still. We get to miss a class? What's going on right now? What? Close. We wanted to take this beautiful outing all together. Wait, and it's close. wait, you mean you're taking the seniors out? No. Happiest time in my life. This is a privilege what? among privileges. <laughs> At this time next year, we won't, like, I mean, we'll be gone to our separate colleges. Boom. I mean, we'll see each other every now and then, but it'll be nothing like this. And there will be no uh, intensity, that feeling of sneaking off. So you can do whatever you want. There's no rules anymore. It's not this fun. Even though off-campus lunches were fun, we still had a lot of frustrations. What are you doing? There goes time back in. A buffalo sauce spill! Who else would do it? As the year went on, everyone was starting to achieve their own personal goals. Natalie Norris and Derek Hogan! And some were even a little unexpected. Why ain't they hire a black model? That's all I gotta say. Y'all are very accepting. In public school, they're not very accepting. You have your, well, you have your cliques everywhere you go, but like, y'all are less cliquish. <laughs> Let's click. Yeah, I think we're better friends. I mean, there's there's like no clicks, clicks, but uh, I mean, everyone gets along in our class at least. I think our class is close, but because we have like a smaller amount of people, but we always we fight too. Way through our senior year, and um, we're starting to get some issues mm -hmm. with the girls, kind of like fifth grade type stuff, mm -hmm. but. Every class does have issues, I guess. Are you, are you pretty mad at us? Whoa, 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 Charlie Brown? I'm just trying to talk to Ryan. Look at this, dude. They're being so mean. <laughs> what? I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> Why can't we be friends? 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 As you can see here, we might be mad at each other for a little while, but we get through it. Mm. Not really, but. As we entered the second semester, we began to ask ourselves, what does it mean to be a senior at David Brainerd? And what do we want to leave behind as our legacy? Here at David Brainerd, uh, it means having a harder schedule than 
anyone else in the school having more work. But yeah, it means I get to go to college next year, which that's what I'm looking forward to. To suck it up and don't whine about when things don't go your way. To be mature about it. Not to not to be down whenever you feel like that you've been mistreated in any kind of way, but to just mature. Means that we have to work hard and be examples for underclassmen, especially because I have a little brother and he's coming up, so I have to be an example for him too. Yeah, the premise being an example, um, doing the right thing. Uh, kind of set the bar for senior class. Yeah, I think we've, I thought we've been a good example for the younger kids. I like the leadership con um, concept and part two, being a senior, um, I've always enjoyed being in leadership positions, whether it be in sports or whatever it be. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're here at the uh, senior pancake breakfast. How you doing, Michael? I'm doing great, man. How are you? Did y'all get your food? Finally. Looks good. Yes. It was pretty early in the morning. Normally I have to wake up around about 7.15, 7.20, something like that. But uh, that morning I had to wake up at about 6 o'clock to be able to get there and everything else. We are uh, trying to raise some money for a senior trip and trying to set a good example for these jokers that are going to be seniors very soon. I think the fact that um, that we have people that are willing to step up and take leadership roles in those things and work. There's Amy. She's the she gets the employee of the day award. In this class, we have you know one or two, well probably more like four or five people that plan stuff. But I think everybody is willing to work. I'm happy to be here. I love it. Are you really? <laughs> what are your views on the uh, how much money do you think we raised today? Around one thousand twenty-five dollars. We had a wonderful breakfast. We enjoyed it so much. How was your service? All of you kids so much. <laughs> oh, thank you. People that did go show, showed their dedication to the senior class and and to the trip. Yeah, I think this class is unique because it's so small that we can do a lot and. It is a privilege. Dear Uncle Bob, thank you for this day. To me, being a senior means um, kind of being a leader and uh, leaving your mark on your last year. Class legacy should be just that we leave behind, just be like, show the other underclassmen that you know, it's possible to make it through your senior year and to enjoy it and just be close and try to set a really good example like our Bible verse says. It's very important that you leave, especially the, the juniors. I feel like it's really important that we need to leave a good example of leadership for them so they can come up and take our place next year. George, you look up to them, right? I look up to them. Oh, yeah. Like, like that, yeah? Just because you're taller. <laughs> you, you guys are really cool. It's okay. Yeah. It's the so, thing that's on the camera there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Being a senior means setting an example for the younger kids. Um, being responsible. It just means, I mean, we're almost an adult. Or if you are, don't only turn 18. That's what everybody you turns 18 during their senior year. So it's time to step it up. It's time to step it up out of your little child boots. As a class, I think our legacy would be that we did just give in. If something was hard, we usually fought against it before we gave in. We gave it a fighting chance, whatever it was.